For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do these two problems which say if the coordinate direction angles of F3 are these given right here, determine the magnitude and direction angles of the resultant force. And then the other problem is the same problem except that they swap the direction angles of this two. They just swap them. They have the same values. So uh, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna do them both of these at the same time, not to waste time. So let's find first f of one. f of one has an x component, a y component, and a c component. The c component is obviously zero because there is no no uh, c component on f of one. The x component can be found by doing f of 1 cosine of 30, which comes out to be 606.2. And the y component can be done by f of 1 sine of 30, which comes out to be 350. So f of 1 is 606.2 plus 350. So this is i, this is j plus 0 k. Let's do f of 2 now. Let me do it here. f of 2 has an x component, a y component, and a c component. x component is obviously 0. There is no x component on f of 2. The y component is 600, which is f of 2 times 4 over 5 and the y component is 600 times 3 over 5 this comes out to be 480 and this comes out to be 360 so this is 0i plus 480j plus 360k So this is f of 1, this is f of 2. So now we're going to divide the problem into the first one and the second one. Let's do the first one first. In the first one, f of 3 has an x component, a y component, and a C component and they're found by doing f of 3 cosine of 120 this angle right here f of 3 cosine of 60 this angle right here and f of 3 cosine of 45 this angle right here these numbers come out to be negative 400, 400, and 565.7, negative 400i, plus 400j, plus 565.7k. When you add f of r is equal to f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3. When you add these three values together, you're going to get that f of r is equal to 206.2i plus 1230j plus 925.7k. Then you can find f of r by doing the square root of the sum of the squared components and it comes out to be 1553.2 for the magnitude of f of r. And you can find f of r's direction angles. by doing the cosine inverse of the components 
divided by the magnitude. For the first one is the x component divided by the magnitude. For the second one is the y component divided by the magnitude. And for the last one is the c component divided by the magnitude. And you're going to get that the angles are 82.37, 37.6, 37.7, 37.6 and 53.41 degrees 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 so these are the values for the first one now f of and um, now uh, the second exercise is the exact same way except that some angles are flipped so let's do f of 3 f of 3 of x f of 3 of y f of 3 of c exact same way except that this angle is 45 instead of 60 and this angle of 60 instead of 45 this is the same. So this is 565.7, this is 400, and f of 3 has the j and k components inverted, see? So when you go through all these motions by finding the magnitude, just like we did here, of the, sorry, finding, um, finding f of r comes out to be 206.2i plus 1395.7j plus 760k by adding this, this, and this magnitude of f of r comes out to be 1602.5 and the direction angles come out to be 82.6 degrees 29.48 degrees and 61.7 degrees final answer final answer and final answer for the second one and these are the final answers for the first one and these are the first two vectors for both of them